Welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. I went two and one in the NFL yesterday. I had lost the teaser that I did. The Browns couldn't hold up their end of the bargain. But I went over on Joku's receiving yards and the Eagles' bills went way over. You can watch that video if you want. I'll link it in the description below if you want to go back and see it. So I like to keep everything easy to find. Everything I document right there in the description. My record from each sport and some notes that I take. Moneyline Milo also went 2-0 yesterday. He's on a six-game run now. He had St. Joe's and the Eagles. So I'm going to tell you about some games that I'm batting today. I'm going to tell you about some games that I find interesting, that I'm leaning on. And sometimes I come back and I add some games into the comments. I usually try to do that pretty early with by like 12, 1 o'clock or so. Just so I get them in plenty of time ahead. And the problem, I talk about being conservative a lot on this, especially in college basketball, because I like a lot of game. The problem with that is putting the games in later. Yesterday, I loved Bellarmine at West Virginia. They ended up covering that number. I talked about it a lot yesterday. I ended up taking the game, but I didn't get a chance to come in and put it in the comments. So I don't add that as a win on here in the comments down low, because I have no proof to you that I took it. I know I took it, and good for me. But I only count wins and losses that I actually put on video. I really like that one and I, I wanted to add it in. Didn't get a chance. But today is a new day to bet. I'm going to tell you about a couple college basketball games that I find interesting and what I'm taking. I have an NFL play and I have an NBA play today. So first, we get to my three college basketball games that I find interesting and what I'm taking. The first is this Eastern Washington at Washington State matchup. Washington State's a 13-point favorite. In-state rivalry, and Eastern Washington has won two out of the last three against Washington State. They've covered three out of the last four, and they gave Washington State their last loss of the season. They ended their season last year. So what to think about this game? Washington State is a 13-point favorite. Is it going to be close because Eastern Washington plays them tight? Or is Washington State going to want that revenge at home and murder Eastern Washington? I tend to think that it may be a closer game. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to like my video and comment if you haven't yet. I come on every day, tell you about the games I'm betting, tell you about the games that I like. I like to talk about college hoops. So let's keep that. I like there's two huge totals today. Houston Christian at TCU. This total is 162. I always lean over on these totals. I'm just worried about Houston Christian being able to score enough to put it over. I know TCU is going to score in bunches. Houston Christian gives them up like that. They'll probably score over 100. TCU has been a 34-point favorite today. They've been a 20, 30-point favorite on all their early season games, and they seem to cover most of those. But um, again, TCU should win huge, lean over, but don't know if Houston Christian can score enough. The one that I did take so far is UMBC at Hampton over 166, another huge total. This is similar to the game, the over that I took the other day with North Carolina a and Alabama State, where both teams are in the bottom 340, 350th in the nation in defense. But here, because both teams aren't that good, I say they'll be able to score on each other, just like that game earlier in the week, and go over 166 in that one. NFL, I don't love this game. I'm 24-17 and 17 in the NFL so far this year. I usually come with a teaser. If I come with a teaser, I'll add it in the comments in a little bit. I usually add games around noon, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that, well ahead of game time. The only thing I'm taking in the NFL, though, is the Bears kicker, Santos, over one and a half field goals. I am taking that. I like field goal props. I've been looking at them lately, and it's usually one and a half. I say either kicker may go over one and a half tonight. But Santos over one and a half Monday night. NBA play, here's another matchup. Lakers at Sixers. I watch, me and Milo watch like every Sixers game pretty much. Now Sixers have won six straight over the Lakers. Out of those six, three of them have been within five points, and the other one went into overtime. The other two, the Sixers covered. So they play each other tough. I think the Lakers cover. It's five and a half. I bought it up to six. I think the Lakers cover that six. We don't want them to win, 
but we just want them to keep it close and cover. I think they can do that. So the three games that I've took so far is the Lakers plus six, UMBC Hampton over 166, and Santos to go over one and a half field goals. Don't forget to like my video. Add any comments that you think that you like, you want to work something out. Let me know. Those are my plays for today. Thank you for watching. Good luck today.